Today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to add identity to a user in your access system using Paxton Net2 and BioConnect's identity platform. The first thing that we're going to do is create a basic user in Paxton's system. So I'm going to go over to the, admin, the user panel and then just add myself in here. You need to have a credential to be active, so for this I'm just going to put in a auto pin and a test value. It's the same thing here, I'm just going to go in and add a token. Doesn't matter, just for this example. Right, now that that's all set, I'm going to open BioConnect. So go over to my Windows panel and open up BioConnect. And starting at the home, you can see all the options. You can manage users, enroll users, and manage devices. I'm going to log in here using my admin credentials. And the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, check the user. So I can see that I have synced over from the user list and the user list matches the Net2 system. And so now um, I don't have any creden fingerprint credentials or identity credentials tied to me. So I'm going to go over um, to the user tab, uh, user enrollment tab, and actually Enroll, um, enroll me into the system. You can do this from the quick menu at the top or you go to the home screen and click, click enrollment. So I'm just gonna search for myself here as a user and I'm gonna enroll one of my fingerprints, my rightful identity to the Net2 system. I've selected a bio mini and then I can also go and select which finger I want to enroll here. I'm using the Bio Mini in this case because it's going to give me a quality score and I really like that transparency. It's very important to capture good enrollments because it's going to have an impact on your verification success going forward. If you're not sure what good looks like, make sure to check out the FAQ document on our support website. So now I'm just going to enroll by placing my finger on the Bio Mini and lifting up each time, three times total. You can see that coming live there. And then you can see the quality scores that came through. So 61, 80, and 70, pretty good. I did my enrollment from the BioMini, but you can also choose to do it from the lobby reader, or whatever reader is in your system, so long as it's set up as an enrollment reader. And you can check that in the device management tab. So I'm now gonna go actually and test that on my lobby reader. And you can hear the chime there that the enrollment was successful. Uh, and you can actually check that in the system too by going to the monitoring tab. And so if I just go over to the monitoring tab and scroll through that, I can see identity success, meaning that my verification was successful. And that occurred at the lobby reader at the specific time. And it was my identity, which is verified through my unique fingerprint. You can just see just how quick it is to get up and running. And note that if you're enrolling a lot of existing users, it's even quicker as we can skip the beginning part of adding somebody to the Net2 system. We can also go through and see the enrollments that are tied to me. And you can add a face as well if you have a face station for enrollment. Uh, and then I can see what specific uh, readers um, I am enrolled at. So if I just click them both and then sync with device, making sure that I am actually able to verify at those specific terminals. And that is everything for today. You can see just how easy it is to add rightful identity to a user within your existing access control infrastructure using BioConnect's identity platform. For additional support resources, please visit our support site at www.bioconnect.com support.